everyone welcome back to working with ken so today we are going to be talking about why you should send your pics to an unauthorized person and uh, this is because that pics contain some kind of data that can be really helpful to a hacker but it can be really ha harmful to you so basically you shouldn't be just uh, sending anyone uh, your pics and here's why i'm going to show you so the thing we are going to talk about is called metadata now what is metadata you may ask metadata is uh, data about a data you know like uh, metadata is size of an image its resolution its uh, um, size and stuff like that so these are metadata of image i have this pic here and um, this is just a simple pic uh, let me show you this is just a picture a simple picture of uh, you know crow uh, birds sitting on wires let's uh, uh, check its metadata let's check this uh, what this pic has that this pic seems simple but uh, it has tons of data that we can use okay let's type exit tool and then type this image name you have exit tool installed in your paradox or kali linux uh, just hit enter and it will give you some you know some information that it, when it was created it was created on uh, 2023 and 21 and seventh month uh, which is uh, now i guess which is august right now so and then we have some other data like as we go on let's start from the above we have uh, some other data like um, make uh, the camera model name is infinix x690b so i mean the other person the person we are targeting has an infinix mobile now what can i do right now i can search this mobile model i can search on an exploit i can search out how to hack this and this guy using adobe lightroom 8.4.2 android version now what can i do i can send him a link of to claim free adobe lightroom software or check out extra feature link and he will click on it so this is how this is how this uh, uh, sending random images or sending your images to a random person or unauthorized person can cause serious damage and now i know what kind of model he, um, mobile he has what kind of uh, model he uses and what kind of software he's interested in i can easily make him my target using different kinds of attacks so and we can also you know go ahead and read the other information but i'm not interested in that he uses adobe lightroom we already got that adobe xmp i don't need to know that flash it contain no flash so basically this is all and uh, well primary platform microsoft corporation we don't care about that but now what we can do we can what we can do here we can copy this data and we can search it online maybe we'll get something i don't know if it's camera model or really a mobile name but let's search it so let's type it here infinix x90b maybe it's a mobile model i really don't know because uh, i'm not an infinix user oh my god it's infinix not seven so by camera we figured out it's infinix not seven so here we go and that is why the metadata are really dangerous i really uh, hate this kind of stuff but uh, you know um, someone can figure out if they do a little bit of uh, using if they a little bit or if they use little bit of steganography techniques and use this i mean a person can really figure out so this is all for today and i will see you guys in the next lecture till then don't send uh, your pics to any unauthorized person okay till then toodles